Hey guys, Lightcraft Mission here, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make your very own Snapchat lenses. It's very simple. First thing you're going to need to do is go to this website that I'm on right now, lensstudio.snapchat.com. Link will be in the description below. Uh, it'll, this also will show you stuff like guides, which just, if you have any questions, look at the guide. It has It's, it's really useful. So you're just going to click the download on the top here and go through the steps. It'll have you log in and then download, like download for Windows or Mac, depending on that. I already have it installed right here. Uh, so first thing you want to do is go, what's your idea? I found my idea from the Snap Lenses um, uh, subreddit. This is the best subreddit to uh, anything with Snap Lenses. I just clicked on requests and found this. The Crimson Chin, because, you know, why not? So um submitted by Super Omen, oh, what Omini Omen, whatever, that's him. Uh, and so luckily this picture that he submitted, uh, this white is actually not there, so I don't need to open it in any program. So I'm gonna just do the static object template because it just makes it the easiest. So it will put this trophy that you don't need, but what it gives you that you need is the touch collision the ground collision and the matte shadow this is so like you can actually drag it around and some people who will just like have this object like this trophy but it won't be in anything so that means if it's not in this like with all the other stuff oh that's weird then it, you can't actually move it around you can place it or you can add the effect so you can add the effect but you can't move it which you want to be able to do so first thing I'll do is um remove it you don't need it same right here at the bottom right Remove that it just adds data that you don't need. Keep all this. You can also rename this to whatever you want. I don't just I like to rename it to the name um, CC for Crimson Chin. I'll do C Crimson Chin. Then I'll take the Crimson Chin file which I have on my desktop, and I just drag it over to uh, here so you can see it. And then what I do just easily is I add a sprite. I move the sprite into CC, and right here under Base Text, you click it. And you open and you click the picture. Now you don't see it, but that's because it's really small, and you see you don't see it at all. And so you click scale, and let's say 20, 20. That's really small. Okay, 50, 50. Now this is a two D image, so it's nothing's there. I mean, if you look at it from the other side, it's gone, but that's good enough. It looks like a three D model because it is. And the position, I want to go like. 40, uh, 30, 20, yeah, you want to make it so it's touching uh, 25, is that good? I'll do a little higher, uh, 26, I'm touching, yeah, that's, I just realized it's probably 25 because that's half of 50 and I made it 50, <laughs> because you know, I'm just smart like that, okay. So now this is the Crimson Chin, and that's a preview. You can pair with your device, and so if I scan that code, which I'm going to do, I don't know if you can do it, but it, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you do it. If I scan the code on my phone, it will actually pair with my phone, uh, and I'll get to see a preview of it on my phone. Now, I can't show you that because um, don't really have a camera recording this, but... I just want to pair it so it pairs with my phone. It won't pair with your guys' phones who are doing the video. Uh, so, yes, yeah, a pairing device. I could send this to my phone, but I know this will work. And then you go to Project Info. And it's... The name of it is... Um, the Crimson Chin. I don't remember how to spell that. Uh, do I have it? Yeah, it's okay. There we go. What the? There it is. Encryption chin. And now I do need to uh, create. Um, I, I need to actually make an icon for it. And so the way I'm going to do that. Actually, do I even need. No. Can I just. I'll, let me see if I can choose the uh, crimson chin. I have other stuff. Crimson chin. No, yeah, invalid item. So I'm going to open GIMP right here. Which is not responding. That's a. Very nice for a tutorial. <laughs> uh, oh, well, you're gonna close. So I guess I'm using pay.net. I'm gonna grab grab the crimson chin. We're going to um. 
Canvas size. Let's make it 320. Oh, that's not 320. Okay, there we go. And now we can just simply go to our highlight tool. Let's get. We have to get like something like a square. That's good enough. Now we'll delete everything, paste that in, and just. Oop. Um, how do I? There we go. Let's uh. Let's make this a bit wider. Uh, no, a bit smaller. I'm. There, there we go. <laughs> the crimson chin. And let's just uh, save this as. Oh, can, don't want to save it. Overwrite the file. Do CC on my desktop. Okay. Choose icon. Uh, where's CC? CC. There it is. There we go. Apply. So now we have the project info. And all you have to do. Um, hint, there's no hint. That's it. That's it. Uh, I'll tell you the size of the thing. You click apply. Top left, submit lens. It'll show um, your lens, the Crips engine. Submit. And uh, you can see my other ones. Uh, I'll also put the description, I'll put the link to this when it's uploaded. But yeah, you can see the statistics 37,000 Harambe downloads. A oh, static object, really. I thought I named it. Ah, shit. Oh, whatever. And this right here, Robbie Rodden, it should show it, even though the update. Fuck the update. I should re update this so I can see the statistics. So, yeah, the Crimson Chim's interview, that's it. I'm seven minutes, it's, you're done. You have your object. You can do it with any image file. So, if I wanted to get an image of my dog, I can do that in like 10 seconds by just replacing the base text right here with whatever you want. So, that's it for this video. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.